ease. It was like a, a red uh, ball of light. He just kept doing like this, coming back, going down. It wasn't fast at all. And then at some point, it was a little bit further away. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. I think it's moving. <laughs> And apparently, one of the ETs survived. It's 1948, and that ET was in uh, Area 51 until like 1951, and uh, contacting the species to come down. And you know, he he died in the meantime, and then I guess they picked up his body and <laughs> donated nine uh, UFOs. Hey, listen, I I like to stay naive and believe in the story, you know. So. Uh, that's the story that I heard, and it's like uh, uh, documented. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I, I believe in all this. Uh, I believe there's something there, too. But the thing is, you know what I've noticed lately? Because I really love the UFO stuff, and I've watched a lot mm -hmm. of podcasts on it with, uh, with a lot of guys on, on Rogan, obviously, and um, like with Jeremy Corbell and Bob Lazar, yeah. all this shit. But lately, I haven't heard anything from um, UFOs. It's like the it's, like, it's not the news because they no. Like, it's but so for a little while you would you would see like oh there's like pyramids in the sky or there's the ship this and that there's this thing going on and now it's like oh since the war stuff happened it's like been dead silent like they could kind of change or the, the entire time they figured out it was just China. <laughs> yeah, <but listen. laughs> yeah. You said Bob Lazar. You seen yeah. Bob Lazar thirty years ago talking about that, right? Dude, I remember those in the eighties. Yeah, he he was reverse engineering. You know, some yeah. of the UFOs, right? Yeah, the crazy yeah. thing is that shit he said back then has been proven today. Mm -hmm. That's so Element, like, well, whatever, yeah. 151 or something. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, so, what else, so what else did he, what is what else is he saying that's true? Yeah, So everything yeah. he's saying, I think, is the truth. It's just like, you can't have that kind of imagination and precision. And then... And you know, Avatar. Oh, yeah. Well, Avatar, Avatar right? Yeah, you could, you, you could, you could make it up, but the thing is, why would the fuck would he have done that and ruin his career for all this time? So that that's the thing, right? I, I do believe Bob Lazar is uh, saying his truth. Whatever the fuck he saw is like what's really what he saw. But why would he make? Did you guys up? follow that shit? Did you, did you follow UFOs and? I mean, there was that project disclosure. I I, I actually donated like my frequent flyer miles. To that uh, project disclosure when they, they were flying all this, uh, you know, the the um, military personnel and espionage, and you know, to be uh, under the oath in the Congress and uh, to uh, say what they know. Was oh, it, like lately, you mean like the guy? Uh, yeah, who, they said they. Yeah, I saw that. Was the yeah, lieutenant, yeah. The, the general, the, no, the lieutenant, that military yeah, guy? All kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you find this? William Cooper. William Cooper is the the one that actually got shot. On his radio show live, and he was revealing, you know, so many things. So if you get some of his secret video footages, he would have like a seminar, and then somebody would secretly tape it. I, I got all those when he was talking about this EB, uh, that's that uh, um, extraterrestrial uh, that uh, survived, and there was actually pictures of it and all that stuff. So uh, why would I, people come up with this bullshit? I don't know. Have you seen the? The documentary about the thing in Brazil where the whole town saw it. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, kind of yeah. weird. It's like, okay, yeah. what the fuck? And the guy that died, right? The guy that touched the uh, yeah. extraterrestrial died. Yeah, he touched the like, Juju. The guy touched the the whatever the crash site, and the, the skin started melting. He got radioactive right away and died within a few hours at the hospital. And then people came and got get the body to the hospital and moved it somewhere else. And let, they, let me, they, let me ask you guys something. If you saw something weird of that nature, what in God's green earth would possess you? Be like, I'm going to go next to it. I'm going to touch it. I ain't I, touching I, shit. I think he picked up the body. I actually. would. I think he I picked up. I would not. I'd be like, oh, yeah, would, what was this shit? I would. I would probably be like, I would like get closer and try to look for sure. Yeah, I'll throw a stick yeah. at it. Yeah, stick or something. But I think you're you're too late. You're too close <laughs> already. You're dead. Because I think the guy actually brought the body to the hospital, and then he died, and the body yeah. got carried away, something like that. Yeah. But me, me and Taylor, we saw um, UFO one day. Remember Taylor? Oh Taylor. shit! 
Taylor, Taylor tell you us really the story. Saw a UFO? Yeah. Yeah, I, we actually filmed it. And uh, it was over the trees. It was like a, a red uh, ball of light. He just kept doing like this, coming back, going down. It wasn't fast at all. And then at some point, it was just a little bit further away. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I think it's moving. The video was pretty underwhelming, but it's like, you're like, okay, what? That's not a plane. That's not a chopper. We're not hearing any sounds. It's past the trees, kind of far. It's doing this little pattern there, but for what reason? And I can then, imagine a lot of things that you film in that regard, just the, the video footage doesn't do its justice, you know? Because no, like no, when, I, no, when no. I went to the uh, St. Peter's Basilica or whatever and tried to film that, I'm like, I, I can't do justice to what the fuck I'm standing in. This building is retarded. It's just absurd yeah. how ridiculous oh, in, it is. Italy? It's awesome. In Italy? Yeah, it's, ama- okay. it's insane. I, I looked up for four hours straight. I'm like, this is insane. The humans yeah. built this shit. And I tried yeah. to film with my phone. I'm like, I'm looking at the footage. I'm like, I can't make it look like it is no. to stand inside of it. I'm going to imagine UFOs are similar. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. Um, Do you know Adam Rochester? Yeah. Australian guy. Yes. So he sends me clips pretty often of shit he sees over there. He actually bought a telescope to like really like look at it because everything he's filming is blurry with his phone. But then the telescope was too hard to understand. He he brought it back. He's going to get another one. But he would send me this, this shit that's like, okay, really what the fuck is that it was literally like the ufos like you see online and i have like ton, tons of footage of that on my phone actually i could probably pull it up actually i could pull it up one sec i'll put it up so it's like what is that you know the other thing that's of quite concern and it seems like it's come out of nowhere is the the advent and the, and the advancements of legitimate robots like in the last like five years, it's like now we have robots that look just like the robots from iRobot. They look identical, some of them. And I've I'm like, wait, that. I've seen this before. We've seen this. We see how this happens. Yeah. I need a gym robot. That'd be cool. Skynet. It's Dude, not only that, floor. what if somebody hacks a robot and goes, you know what? I don't like my ex-wife. The robot that cleans my house, I'm going to have that robot snap my wife's neck. You know what I'm saying? What you if your wife? What if your uh, what if your wife is like? I like that robot more than my husband. I, I think Chris's I wife would robot? destroy a robot. <laughs> <laughs> you would fuck with Alexia. <laughs> oh my god, dude! We're we're we're, we're at such a what a weird time. <laughs> we're gonna see some weird shit happen in the next twenty years, man. Real All weird right, shit. Milos, what would you do with a robot if you had a robot? Giant <laughs> sets. Uh, I would listen. Hundred set, hundred okay. reps on the hack squat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, giant set for uh, 24 hours. But listen, uh, today I was actually uh, with Dana White, and we were talking about exactly these things. And he says that artificial intelligence is taking over the medicine. And uh, they can diagnose, they can prevent, they can all kinds of stuff. I mean, you know, uh, ju- just think about it. this is the next step in, in a, a medical field. Longevity, uh, preventing diseases, reversing, you know, shit like that. It's going to and uh, they, are, they are already, uh, I don't want to say too much, you know, uh, people, they're doing it. But I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Like a, a robot's not going to make a mistake unless they're programmed wrong. Yeah, but yeah. Is uh, it ready? You download all the information, feed them, feed them, right? So at such a point. Pass that stuff. I just got all this on film. I see dots. I see dots. Yeah, but it's, it's, gonna... but it's in the sky. Oh. He's moving. Oh, see that? Fucking Don't cool closer. That's not round. That's a big one. And it's, look at it. Beaming. I can focus on it. I don't care if you're talking about it. But... It's just, it's just like, fuck, like you said, it doesn't really do it justice, huh? But uh, there was another one over, where is it? Here. And the thing is, he, he's got some screen graph somewhere where you see this, like, it's it's something inside something else. You know, the, the one to describe, it's like a sphere inside a square or a cube inside a sphere. That's what he's, he was filming at some point. 